Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard with a tutorial on horses in Minecraft 1.6. We're going to go over how to find horses, how to tame them, and how to breed them as well. So let's get started. Step one, you need to gear up for heading out to find yourself some horses. So one of the things you're going to need is a saddle and some horse approved foods like sugar, wheat, apples, bread, or hay bale. But you're also going to need leads to guide your horses around. So to craft that, you take four pieces of string and put them in the corners like that, and a slime bow in the middle, and they'll give you two leads for each one of those you make. Those come in very handy for guiding your horses and other mobs around. Step two, find horses. You have to go out into the plains biome, which is the only place that horses can be found, and it must be newly generated as of uh, Minecraft 1.6 or they won't be there. So they're very rare, it might take you a long time to find them, but once you do, hey, there you go. Here's a couple wild horses. Now, you can take these horses in their wild and you can hook up a lead to them, guide them around, walk them around, but they're still wild, you can't really ride them. So in order to tame one, we move on to step three, breaking your horse. Step three involves getting on the horse. You have to have uh, nothing in your hand and interact with them. And they will probably throw you pretty quickly. You have to keep getting on and riding them until hearts appear. And then the horse likes you and you've broken them. So you just have to keep staying on and they'll keep kicking you off. What you can do to help this out is to feed them. So, if you give an apple a horse, on an apple or any other kind of food, it'll be more happy and inclined to uh, be broken for you. There's certain percentages involved with each type of food, but it's all, you know, just a few. So whatever you have on hand to use lots of, you know, might as well use that. Here, let's give you some sugar. This guy's being really tough. But eventually, see, there, you saw the hearts really quickly. He likes me, so this horse is tamed. What we need to do is put a saddle on him. So if you just interact with him like that normally, you jump on him, and then you use the shift to jump off. But if you're using shift to start with, to be in sneak mode, and you interact, you'll get into the horse's inventory. And you can shift click to put the saddle on, or just do it manually, and it goes up there. And voila, you have a saddle on the horse. So you now have a tame buddy to ride. Interact on them again, and then you just use movement keys like normal to get around. The only thing different is jumping. You have to hold in the jump key and let go, and that's when the horse will jump. And filling up the meter to the top will give you a higher jump. Alright guys, moving on. As you can see, I've tethered my horse to a fence post. It doesn't matter if it's just a single post like this or part of a whole you know, row of fences. You can use the lead to attach them there, so that way your horse doesn't go wandering off to the middle of nowhere. Good to put them next to you know buildings and places you're gonna want to ride your horse. Now, as you can see, I've got an anvil here. Let me do a little bit of uh, demonstrating of stuff here. So I'm gonna grab some things, put it in my inventory. I don't need all these, but whatever. Now I'm in creative mode right now, just so I can do this without cost. But if we put a name tag in here, we can name our horse like any mob. We're gonna call this guy. Tutorial Sam. You don't have to shift for this one, you just normally right click on him and then now he's got a name, Tutorial Sam. Next we're going to move on to how to breed horses. Okay guys, for breeding horses you need golden apples or golden carrots to put them into love mode. And you walk up to them and feed it to one, feed it to the other and they breed. It used to be you had to ride them in some of the snapshots but you don't have to anymore. You just give them the golden apples and voila, you have the little uh, bowl here. Get out of the way. There you go. As you can see, this guy is little and you can wait, I think it's about 20 minutes or something and it's supposed to be till he'll be full grown, but you can also feed him and you can see he gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It takes a lot of food, but eventually he'll grow up to full size. I think we've got him there. But the thing is, he's uh, this new horse is wild, so you have to tame him again. So you're gonna have to jump on him. And he, well, this guy loved me because I gave him tons of sugar. So wow, there we go. We got another another horse. And the you know statistics of these will you know depending on what color the you know 
parent horses are and what stats they have will determine what your uh, new horse will get. If you're lucky enough to find yourself a donkey, you can breed it with a horse to get yourself a mule, which is a little bit bigger than a donkey is, a little bit smaller than a horse. So, let's see, get ourselves a little mule offspring here, feed him and grow him up, and we got ourselves a mule. So you can see the mule is slightly smaller than the horse, slightly bigger than the donkey, and you can also put the chest on him as well, bam, and you've got extra storage. So if you look in the inventory here, you can see mules and donkeys have extra storage if you put a chest on them, but they cannot wear armor which is the difference. They're kind of slower than horses as well, but if you're going adventuring, you need a trusty mule or a trusty donkey by your side to keep all your loot. One more thing we'll show you. You can also have horse armor. Horse armor is found in dungeons. We'll saddle this guy up and put some horse armor. So that's what it looks like. With golden armor, you can get it in iron or you can get it in diamond. You cannot craft armor. You can only find it in dungeons. Same with the name tags. You can only find them in dungeons. And in the chests there. I think you can also find them in fortresses in the nether as well, chests there. But only in stuff newly generated as of this, you know, Minecraft 1.6 version. So anything after that, you'll be good to go. Anything before that, you're not going to find the new items. So make sure you're looking at new territory, guys, and you should be fine. That is it for the horses tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I'll try and answer them. So head out there and find yourself some horse buddies of your own.